Amid Independence Day and the country's increasing inflation, thousands of people in Buenos Aires, including leftist parties, union and social organizations, went out to the streets to protest the government's action in the face of the country's socio-economic difficulties and calling for general strike and ceasing payments in Argentina's agreement in the International Monetary Fund. The debt is unpayable and it shows every day. All the efforts to reach an agreement with the International Monetary Fund have exacerbated the crisis. If you were in bad shape in March, now we are much worse. When we call for the debt to be defaulted on, we also call for the debt to be thoroughly investigated. Why? Because the Argentine people have the right to know who benefited from this debt, who indebted us, and for what interests. Concerns are surfacing in the country about the negotiation of debt of 45 billion US dollars with the International Monetary Fund, an unleashed inflation that accumulates 30% so far this year that according to analysts could reach 70% in addition to shortages and rising dollar prices in the official and black markets. It is a colonial pact of independence alluding that we are living through. No, we must break the ties with the International Monetary Fund and stop paying all foreign debt payments in order to be able to invest in work, wages, health and education, which is what we need. While traditional left-wing parties parked the Plaza de Mayo, a smaller right-wing group headed from the city's obelisk toward the square and struggled to pass through a police line that was attempting to avoid any kind of violence between the two opposed groups.